Hello friends, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help. I hope you're doing well. And this is my new video on Java FX, in which we will discuss about the uh, tool tip. So I will show you uh, how you can apply the tool tip on your Java FX GUI component like button, checkbox, and text box. So let's get started. So this is my NetBeans IDE, and which is has version. 8.0 and uh, I'm going to take a similar example that I have taken in my previous video go to the file menu and choose the new project okay this is a new project window at this place inside the category we have selected JavaFX and in the projects JavaFX application click on next button now this is new window and it is asking for the relevant project name so give you a good name for your project this is tooltip example and click on the finish button okay now it is done our project is set up on left side now let me expand it as usual we have these three files the fxml gui component file and the controller which is going to handle all the action raised by this dot uh, fxml components and the startup file the tooltip dot example which is a start method and are responsible for loading the fxml file okay let me open this first inside the scene builder because i will uh, do some changes on that on the default fxml I will add a checkbox, text box, and a button on it. Now this is a scene builder. Now we have to open the same FXML here. Okay, just then here, and you can see that our default uh, button is placed. So don't find it; just delete it. Okay, now go to this just little bit X and the anchor pen. Uh, go to the library search option here. Now type password field. Okay, just drag it and drop it here on the anchor pen. And choose uh, one more thing. Now taking a button a simple button now just select it drag it and drop it here and just increase this width of this button and now the third one i am taking a checkbox okay select it and just cop drag it and paste it here so we have these three components one by one i will apply the tool tip on all these components okay so first one is a password field now go to this uh, code window expand it now in the property fx colon id here give a useful id for assign a useful id i am assigning it to a password field okay done and now come to the second which is button and assign the fx id to it i'm um, giving it a button and the third one is a checkbox now assign the fx id to it which is checkbox it is done so you can see here i have given the fx id to the first password field then i have given the fx id to the button and then i have given the fx id to the checkbox okay that's done now save this fxml just minimize it now come here inside the netbeans this is my base package and come to this fx document controller dot java file okay now here you need to type at the rate fxml private button button this is the same 
uh, this is the same FX ID. The same FX ID name I am using for the uh, button object reference. Yeah, here it is. In the similar way, I will do for the password field and for the checkbox. So, right at the FXML, private password field. JavaFXScene.Control password field and now get the FX ID here just copy and now come back here in the head pins and paste it here place a semicolon now write again FXML private checkbox okay all these controls inside the scene dot control package checkbox okay now go back to here uh, in the scene builder and select the checkbox and copy this fx id and come back here and paste here so we have taken uh, these three references object references from the xml now finally what we have to do we will do inside the in slice method okay now at line number 47 I am going to create the tooltip class object you can add now type tooltip uh, object for that tooltip is equal to new tooltip this is a tooltip class that will help you to set up the tooltip on the controls now we need to import package just control enter and you will see uh, the import for the tooltip class okay once you're done the error will be gone okay so we will create the three different reference variable so for first password field I have created this tooltip password now come here in the line number 50 tooltip password dot set text so using the set text method to write the text which will be displayed inside the tooltip I'm writing inside to this is password field okay now taking this password field object reference here password field dot set tooltip so this is the utility method which helps you to set the tooltip which which is connecting the tooltip with the password field so this is the major line line number 52 is very essential okay now you can see here the tooltip password object passed inside the set tooltip method so let me run this example and I will show you what are the results do a clean build and now go to the file which has a start method and just right click and click on the run file now here is a stage and just place the cursor over the password field now you can see that in the black box and the white phone this is password field this is the tool tip appearing perfectly as we expected okay guys now see again this is the password field and place the cursor and this is the tool tip okay but button has no tool tip and checkbox also has a no tool tip so we will do the similar way for rest of the two controls now come back in the fxml document controller and do the same code for the rest of the two so I'm copying the line number 48 and pasting here at line number 55 final tooltip and creating a new object for tooltip button and now here creating one more variable tooltip button and creating the instance of tooltip for the checkbox now new object reference is tooltip checkbox 
So now we will set the text for a tooltip which will be displayed on the button. So this is is button. Okay. Now do for the checkbox. tooltip checkbox which is of tooltip type and we are using the set text method and now here give the string the tooltip string this is checkbox ok now we have to write the third line for that to connect this tooltip with the control so now taking this reference button button dot set tooltip ok we got this method now pass here and do the same for the checkbox now take this reference of the checkbox which is coming from the fxml checkbox dot set tooltip ok we got it and now pass here the tooltip checkbox object ok once you done just save it we have all set ok this the whole process is of three steps create a tooltip object set the tooltip and connect this tooltip with the controls Okay, first we connected with the password field, then we connected with the button. And third one for the checkbox. So these three major steps required to set the tooltip. Okay, now go to the run menu do a clean build of the project ok now come back here tooltip example which has a start method now just right click choose run or run file so here is the stage now go here on the password field now see this is a tooltip for the password field now come here on the button now you see, see that the tooltip is appearing perfectly for the button as well and now come here in the checkbox the checkbox tooltip is appearing perfectly as we expected so this was the whole process to setting the tooltip on any control you can follow this step if you have any doubts so please comment below i will try to reply on that as soon as possible that's all guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates. Thanks for watching.